Ha 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 ha. It looks like Scriggan is almost out of stamina. You are no match for me and my bae, flaming hot Chico. Soon you will fall before me, and with you gone no one will be able to stop me. I will conquer Earth, and then the solar system, and then the galaxy, and then with the power of the stars, I will finally take down that no good, foolish, stinky, Noah from left first, and then his really cool YouTube channel will be mine. Ha 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 ha. You have not won yet, Space Cheeto, and I shall never surrender. Not until my last breath. You may have a the power of Uranus on your side, but I have a power far greater than that. The power of all of the Shukurane simps. Feel free to continue believing that too. We'll see what you think when you taste the power of my special move. Go flaming hot Chico. Thanks to the universe driver, I can hit you with a counter attack like you've never seen before. Go. Galaxy Cheddar Blast. Heh, did you really think I didn't expect the infamous Galaxy Cheddar Blast? Nanny. You forget that my Astral Spriggan is in its left spin mode. And with it, rubber on the lair. Your Cheddar Blast will only make my Spriggan stronger. Nice attempt, shoo. But my Cheeto plates that launch off of my bay negate your rubber. What? Yes. By placing the little flakes of plastic onto the rubber, I instead hit the plastic and not the rubber. But that's not you lost. Two pure in a ha 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 ha. Okay, time out. What? You can't just make up Beyblade powers. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Fine. Then you can only have one power: the Universe Driver or the Cheeto Flakes. Pick one. I pick the power to have all of the powers. No, you stinky. You're a cheater. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Beyblade gimmicks or powers. A lot of Beyblades have unique powers in the anime that allow them to perform special moves. In the show, these powers range from something small, such as having wheels on a Beyblade that allow it to repel attacks, to giving the Beyblade angelical flippin' abilities. <laughs> Now in the actual Beyblade products, most real life Beyblades try to replicate some of these magical powers by using physics and clever engineering tactics. However, although some abilities transfer really well into the real world, a lot of Beyblades fall short and today we are going to be counting down 5 of the worst Beyblade powers. To do this, I created a poll and asked you guys to vote on what you believe to be the worst Beyblade gimmick, and the results are in. So you only have yourselves to blame for this ranking, and I, I love doing that because it like pushes the blame away from me and it makes me feel better. Alright, let's get started. In the number 5 spot, we have Hyperion Burn with 230 votes. Now, in the Beyblade Burst Surge or Super King series, the main protagonists Hikaru and Hyuga both got an evolution to their Beyblades mid-season. And while Hikaru's Beyblade, Helios Volcano is a major upgrade to his prior King Helios, Hyuga was not so lucky. Hyperion Burn is probably the worst Beyblade evolution. It is just terrible. Although it adds more weight to the Beyblade, its main downfall comes in its Limit Break ability. Once the Hyperion Beyblade loses one click, its Limit Break ability activates, which makes the Beyblade's wings extend outwards, giving the Beyblade much larger attack points. Which sounds great, like larger attack points leads to harder hits, which is usually like beneficial for attack types like Hyperion, and in the anime, it does just that. But sadly, in real life, a lot of other aspects come into play. The larger attack points just cause the Beyblade to burst extremely easily. In real life, I find that my Hyperion Bird consistently bursts in like the first 10 seconds of every battle, guys. And not only that, the extended wings cause more drag, giving the already stamina deficient Hyperion even less stamina. Honestly, if it was up to me, Hyperion Burn would probably be much higher on this list. It's just such a gimmicky Beyblade, and its power is just terrible in real life. But the viewers have spoken, and they decide to place it in the number 5 spot. In the number 4 spot, with 352 votes, we have Killer Death Scyther and its Double Strike ability. 
Now, Double Strike in the anime is so amazing. It's spectacular, guys. In my opinion, it's probably one of the coolest abilities in the whole Evolution series. As the name would suggest, it allows Death Scyther to attack twice in one strike. It attacks once with its normal scythe, but then is able to attack 10 times harder with its blue blade, usually resulting in bursting its opponent. To put in perspective guys, imagine a Pokemon if they gave a Pokemon the ability to attack two times in a turn. And I'm not talking about like some weak bullet seed, I'm talking about like double close combat. It would literally be broken and that, now that I think about it, I think, I think that's Mega Kangaskhan's ability. <laughs> Parental bond, right? Well, that Pokemon's broken, so that just proves my point. Anyway, in the anime, Death Scyther- I can't believe I made that mistake. Anyway, in the anime, Death Scyther's double strike is just so cool. But in real life, like, just look at what they did to it. It's literally just a blue piece of plastic that moves back and forth. They couldn't even make it spring-loaded or something. It's just so lame, and I think that's why it's on this list. The show just promised so much, but in real life, the Beyblade is just so disappointing. Now, what's worse than a disappointing Beyblade gimmick? The answer is a Beyblade gimmick that does nothing, and that's Guardian Kirby's ability. But before we talk about that, I thought it would be a fun idea to play a little game with you guys. There are three doors on screen right now. One of them has the real Kirbyus owner, Ken, and the other two have Kyle, the, the cheap knockoff. Now, I want you to pick a door. If you pick a door with Ken, you're safe. But if you pick a door with Kyle, he's holding a subscribe button and he's gonna force you to subscribe with his like grubby little hands and un unsettling bodysuit. That's not very flattering in the crotch area. <laughs> All right, anyway, I'll give you guys three seconds to pick. Three two, one, and the correct answer is the door on the right. So if you picked one of the other two, you're gonna have to subscribe or Kyle is going to show up at your door while you're sleeping at night, probably. Anyway, let's get back to talking about Guardian Curvius and why its ability is terrible, or really it's, its lack of ability. So Guardian Kirby's' supposed ability is that its chains are made of softer plastic which allows it to absorb attacks better. Well, surprise, the plastic isn't that much softer than normal plastic. If it was, the Beyblade would wear down extremely fast. The chains also have barely any flexibility at all, making the Beyblade gimmick useless. At least Death Scyther's like, scythe moved a little. Guardian Kirby's' chains are they're, they're just a lie guys <laughs> and that's why guardian Kirbyus ranks so high on this list because it, it literally does not have an ability now on to the second worst Beyblade power what could be worse than guardian Kirbyus? well the viewers have spoken and with 483 votes they say that the barrier gimmick on variant Lucifer is significantly worse in the anime, Lucifer is able to create a force field when it's launched, which gives it the ability to withstand even the hardest attacks. Now, in real life, they incorporate this power by giving Lucifer like these pink rubber, I, I don't even know how to describe them. They look like tongues and oh, I, no, I don't, I don't like the idea that I don't like. <laughs> Now I'm just imagining like the Beyblade like licking other- oh no. And anyway, these rubber strips are meant to give the illusion of a barrier when the Beyblade is spinning. And while it does give that illusion, it's at the cost of the Beyblade's performance. Just like Hyperion Burn with its extended contact points, Lucifer's barrier causes a large amount of drag, which gives the Beyblade little to no stamina at all. It's like an amplified Hyperion Burn. This Beyblade is not outspinning anything, which is really bad considering the main win condition in Beyblade is to outspin your opponent. Now, I will say that although the barrier gives Lucifer no stamina at all, it is actually quite effective at spin stealing. When bursting opposite spin opponents, the barrier works as intended and is able to defend against attacks while not losing stamina. And this is just because it's able to absorb the opponent's spin. However, it is an instant loss if you're going against a same spin Beyblade, and because of that, it has the title of the second worst Beyblade power. 
finally, we are on to the worst Beyblade power. With 530 votes, the worst Beyblade power ever created was Orb Aegis and its suction cups. Now, I just want to say, in concept, this Beyblade ability is really cool. Orb Aegis has a free-spinning suction cup on its driver that allows it to anchor to the stadium floor. It has ultimate defense, guys. It can take on even the strongest hits. Like, look at this Beyblade. It, it doesn't move. <laughs> Now, the problem with this ability is that it gains pure defense by sacrificing everything else. <laughs> it has horrendous stamina, debatably worse than even Lucifer and its barrier, not to mention it has the worst attack power in all of Beyblade because, well, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't move. <laughs> The driver is also rather tall to accompany the suction cup gimmick, which causes the Beyblade to scrape rather easily. Now let's think, what are the three ways to win in Beyblade? You can either outspin your opponent, knock your opponent out of the stadium, or burst your opponent. Orb Aegis literally can't do any of that. It, it can't win, guys. So if you're using Orb Aegis, your only hope is for your opponent to mess up. And because of that, Orb Aegis and its suction cup ability is the worst power in all of Beyblade. So yeah, that was my top 5 list. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you guys want to see more top 5s like this, make sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> That just sounds like such a generic YouTube thing to say. Anyway, I also am taking suggestions for potential top five ideas in the comment section below. So if you guys can think of any Beyblade related stuff, uh, tell me in the comments. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Have a nice day. I'm out. Peace.